I'm Tim the Bartender. Welcome to the Bar of Truth and Spirits. Raven Simone is an idiot. I say that because Raven went on the Oprah Winfrey show on the OWN network and she said, I don't want to be labeled as gay. Don't call me gay. But then she went on and said she likes women. That she's dating a woman. Women are her thing. But she doesn't want to be labeled as gay. It's not that she's not gay. She just doesn't want you to call her gay. Because she's known she's been gay since she was 12. Confused yet? Yeah, me too. Look, when the U.S. Cons the U.S. Supreme Court finally ruled recently that barring same-sex marriage was unconstitutional, Raven Simone sent out a tweet. And she said, yay, that means I can finally get married. Now look, I don't know if you think I'm the smartest person on the planet. Probably not. But I know what it sounds like. Sounds like Raven Simone is gay. To me. Example. Let's say Dan Snyder, the owner of the Washington Redskins, he sent out a message saying, all local Washington Redskins fans can have free season tickets. And if I sent out a tweet after seeing that and I said, yay, I ain't get free season tickets. It would be safe for you to assume that good old Tim Black is one, locally, local to the Redskins, and two, he is a Redskins fan. That's kind of ABC, one, two, three, kind of simple, ain't it? Even people on the very, very short bus who wear protective headgear would make that identification. But not Raven Simone. Oh, hell no. Raven says it don't matter. She don't want to be labeled. And not only is she pissed off about that, she's pissed off that people call her African-American. Because to Raven, she's just an American. As if she gets cool points for that shit. I don't think it's funny. I think it's jacked up. I think you need to accept who you are. And I think that's what true equality is when we actually see differences and say, who gives a shit? Let's say Raven, you at the store. You know, the Louis store in Beverly Hills. You and your girlfriend, you holding hands, you smooching, Mwah. all that good stuff. It's obvious that something's going on between you. Let's say you just, on a whim, you decide, hey, let's steal $5,000 worth of shit and run out the door. And let's say you actually do it, you and your girlfriend, holding hands, kissing the whole time. You take off out the door with $5,000 worth of Louis gear. The salesperson sees it. She runs after you, but she ain't stupid. She knows she can't fight y'all sisters. So she lets you go. But she calls police. The police come and they come to her and they say, okay, ma'am, could you identify the people that stole the merchandise? What's she going to call you? Huh, Raven? Is she going to say, uh, it was a genderless uh, American? Or is she going to say, some black dyke bitch took the shit and ran out the door? I think she's going to say something closer to what I just said. And if she's really fucked up, if she's really screwed up, she might say, some dyke nigga took it. That's the reality. I don't like the fact that someone might call you that or somebody might refer to you that way. But this is America. This is what the civil rights and all the other shit that everyone's been talking about for 30 years, this is what it's about. That idea. The reality. In more than 30 years, last 70 years. Shit, forever. So for you to discount it all and say it don't apply to you, well, that kind of pisses me off because you benefit from the people who recognize it and try to battle against it. All right. That's all I got to say. I got to go back to watching my Redskins get their asses kicked by the Seahawks. You black and you gay. Face it. Stop wasting my motherfucking time.